from California to Maine, and from Florida to Saskatchewan. DQ blizzards are our best seller, so it's important for you to feel comfortable making them, as you will be making lots of these. The key to making a great blizzard is to blend it thoroughly. The number one mistake treat prep people make is blending the blizzard well for the top two-thirds, but leaving the bottom of the cup unmixed. This will disappoint our customers because the bottom third of their blizzard is just plain soft serve. The recipe for most blizzards is really quite simple. It consists of creamy DQ soft serve and the guest choice of blizzard flavorings and or toppings all blended together. To make a blizzard properly, refer to the blizzard recipe cards for proper portion amounts. For example, the chocolate chip cookie dough blizzard has hot or cold fudge and cookie dough. The blizzard recipe cards will be posted in your restaurant. Okay, here are the details of how to make the famous and delicious blizzard. Select proper blizzard cup, mini, small, medium, or large. Dispense soft serve into the bottom of the cup and fill to the DQ logo. Then form a base, ball, and curl. The ball should be half in the cup and half out of the cup. This will leave space to add the collar and additional ingredients. Place a collar on cup. It must be in place before any treats, candies, or toppings are added. Add all the requested blizzard flavorings according to the recipe card. Because there are so many varieties of blizzards, your recipe cards are really helpful and important. You will find that some builds are simple, some are more complicated. On the simpler side, our perennial bestseller, the Oreo Blizzard, is just soft serve and Oreo cookie crumbles in the correct ratio. And some blizzards have multiple ingredients, like the chocolate extreme blizzard. Center the cup beneath the spindle of the blizzard machine and push the cup up onto the spindle until the spindle touches the bottom of the cup. Then pull the cup down off the spindle about one inch. Set the blizzard machine speed control to 100. Holding the cup firmly with at least one finger on the top of the collar, turn the blizzard machine on using either the foot pedal or on switch. Still holding the collar with at least one finger, blend blizzard using an up and down motion until flavor ingredients are well blended but not finely crushed. This should take about 7 to 10 seconds. If you blend more than 10 seconds, the blizzard will become soupy or soft. Remove cup from spindle at the same time as turning the blizzard machine off by releasing the foot pedal or the off switch. A properly portioned blizzard should be within a quarter inch of the top of the cup. Use a long spoon to scrape the inside of the collar and gently pile the excess blizzard in the middle of the treat. Do not tap the cup on the counter to remove soft serve from the edges. Remove the paper collar and throw away. Leave the long spoon in the blizzard and present it to the customer upside down. Turn it back right side up and then hand it to the customer. This is part of the presentation and should not be skipped. For carryout, the blizzard should be covered with a flat lid, but it should still be served upside down. Don't forget to give drive through customers a napkin. Quickly wash the spindle after every use. This will keep the blizzard machine clean, ready for the next item, and prevent flavor transfer and cross-contamination. Rinse the spindle by placing it in a metal cup of clean water and run it at speed zero for about seven to 10 seconds. Resetting the speed from 100 to zero is really important or all of the water will fly out of the cup and all over you. At DQ, our other signature act is turning a blizzard upside down when it is served to a customer to show how thick the product is and to have fun with our customers. This can even be done at a drive through window once you get the hang of it. Great. You will be making a lot of blizzards, so let's practice making a few.